Greetings and welcome to a special edition of Curator's Corner here at the National Army Museum. This month we honor Vietnam War Veterans Day by sharing the powerful story of Staff Sergeant John Caviani. His story is part of our Vietnam War exhibit in the Cold War Gallery. Here you will see numerous stories and artifacts that highlights the Army's experience in Vietnam, from the iconic UH-1B UE helicopter to personal items carried by soldiers. This gallery represents the service and sacrifice of our Vietnam War veterans. So let's hear Staff Sergeant Caviani's story. John Caviani was born in Ireland in 1943 and settled in California with his mother in the 1950s. After becoming a naturalized U.S. citizen in 1968, he enlisted in the U.S. Army and was sent to Vietnam. In 1971, Caviani was serving in a platoon tasked with protecting a remote hilltop called Hickory Hill. On the morning of June 4th, the camp was attacked by North Vietnamese soldiers. Acting with disregard to his own safety, Caviani exposed himself to enemy fire in order to move about the camp to direct the platoon's defenses. When the platoon was to be evacuated, he volunteered to remain on the ground to direct the helicopters. The next day, he ordered the remaining platoon members to escape while he provided cover fire. He exposed himself to heavy enemy fire from which he received over 100 shrapnel and bullet wounds. When the North Vietnamese took the hill, Caviani played dead and hid in the jungle for almost two weeks until he was taken prisoner. Caviani spent the next two years in multiple prison camps, including Plantation Gardens, the Zoo, and the Hanoi Hilton. He lived in a small room with a wooden plank for a bed, and his only clothes were this jacket and pants you see here. Every day, he and the other prisoners passed the time by playing cards, reading, talking, and suffering through meals that contained everything from rat feces and cockroaches. Caviani was released on March 27, 1973. He was awarded the Medal of Honor, the Bronze Star, and the Purple Heart for his actions on Hickory Hill. He continued to serve in the Army until he retired as a Sergeant Major in 1990. He died in 2014 and is buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of Curator's Corner and for learning about the story of Staff Sergeant John Caviani. I also want to thank all Vietnam War veterans for their service and to let them know that their stories are not forgotten. For more information about this exhibit or the museum, please visit our website.